Yeah, well, that's okay. We can toss it back on the list. <laughs> eh. Well, Zeta. <laughs> Where did I put this? I did not put it there. Okay, there it is. So Zeta, um, where to go? Right through the, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Let me just double check in here. How do I button game? Okay, I can't check in the options, and I can't start a new game. So, um, is that because I alt-tabbed in and out, or did the keyboard batteries die? It seems like a possibility. No, 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 the keyboard is working just fine. Come on, Fitz, work with me here. And this time, Enter worked perfectly fine. <coughs> Alright, good night, fell. Volume. That is annoyingly loud. <laughs> and of course it does this again. Is Zeta? Yo, Zeta, are you, um... <laughs> Do you have Fitz the Fox, and have you played it? Is this the one that you evidently may have gotten mad at? <laughs> I will say this is one that um, greatly disappointed me. Because this is one of those ones where they say, oh, it's inspired by retro whatevers, and you can move, and you can jump. And that's literally it. Like, you can bounce on enemy heads, except for the ones with spikes on them.
but um, yeah. And it really bugs me when games say inspired by the classics and then don't actually even match up to any of the classics, because I don't think there was a single game made past 1985 where literally all you could do is move and jump. Like, even regular Super Mario Brothers had fire flowers and a run button. And Adventure Island. What the hell are you talking about, Spiffy? Six golden coins, you had move and jump and run and fire flower and carrot float. Oh, okay. I see what you mean now. Yes. That is absolutely the retro they should aspire to. That, I fully agree with you on. But, you know, like, Adventure Island, the first one, before they introduced the Dino Pals and other things, even that, you had an axe and a skateboard and could do things more than just move and jump. So to do a little test there, I was double checking to confirm that um, it was in fact pressed to uh, jump higher or hold to jump higher rather, which it is, which at least it has that tiny little thing going for it. I'm not really engaged in any way, and it's kind of the whole idea behind video game arrays, so... And of course, one hit deaths with everything. We do have a lives system. So, yeah, limited lives are a thing. Yeah, it's not really a terrible or even a bad game, it's just really disappointing and very bland. I got a test to see if we can get up above there. But I missed my chance. And we can't get above there, so... Well, I don't 
actually care because acorns only seem to be for points. And I'm not quite sure yet what the points do, if anything. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that there, Candrus. It's a very good way of putting it. Derp. Oh, I see how it goes now. Okay. So, for 500 points, if you don't have three lives, it gives you an extra life. Very, very strange system. But okay, whatever. Subtracts 100 points when you die, followed by any possible additional 500 for the extra life add-on. So at least score does have a purpose, so I'll give it that. That is honestly a rare thing in this kind of quote-unquote retro-inspired game. So I'd still love to... what? <laughs> I would still love to hear from Zeta. That was my bad, I was not... Trying to jump on it purposefully that time, and instead just walked right into it. <laughs> At least we got the checkpoint. to know then, Spiffy. That does help quite a bit. <laughs> Overshot it. 